All right, so what is good everybody on YouTube? This is of course your boy B Bullet RC. I'm coming to you guys today with yet another video. And today we got, well, we just got a lot of blessings again. So just give me one second. Y'all know how we do. Y'all know how we do. Okay, uh, okay, uh, okay. We have Supreme, a huge box from Jack Thread, some Sockneys, Indie Brand Love from Fan Mail, and um, some sample that I gotta show you guys. So yeah, this is, uh, this is all of it. So without further ado, I'm gonna hop into the Jack Threads box first to get through everything in that box, and then we're gonna move up. So let's get into it. Telephone call from young Cardi set a slit. Call a young lord, he said Barry, he legit. Money down. And a young boy, he ain't kind of off the shit. Young lord, with them boys out of Harlem, what a sick. So, like I said, we will be starting with this big Jack Threads box. I haven't ordered off of Jack Threads in a while, but they have this new tryout system that's actually really, really dope. I like how they did it, so let's just get into this box. So, yo, first off, first thing I saw in this box, you guys know that Jack Threads is doing their new tryouts thing. If you guys want more information on that, I'm pretty sure I have a piece of B-roll right here so you guys can see exactly what this comes with. Basically, you can try things out before you actually spend money on it. So this whole box of clothes was technically free. Whatever I keep, I pay for. And if I want to send something back, they literally give you a shipping label. They include stickers for you. They give you everything to ship it back. It's like they send you this stuff, and if you want to send it back, you get a you get a bag to send it back. You get stickers, you get a return label, they give you everything. So Shouts out to Jack Threads for actually making online shopping as easy as possible, especially if you need to return something. Um, that, that's pretty dope. So we're gonna start off small, and I had to order another pair of these Ray-Bans because I basically gave my other pair to my girlfriend. She started wearing them, and I was like, yo, I just need my own pair. So they do have Ray-Bans on the site. The same pair I always wear. This is a brand new pair of Club Masters. They come with all the instructions and everything. It's legit. I know how <laughs> Fay bands can be, but of course Jack Threads is legit. So these are the glasses that you guys send me wear all the time. It's a Ray-Ban Clubmaster, and I just need to re-up on a pair because, like I said, I basically just let my pair go to my, my girl. So I had to get another pair for myself so they won't get stolen because a lot of things, shirts, sweaters, sweatpants, they do get stolen. So the next two grabs I got in this box are basically two trucker jackets. It's an all-over corduroy feel on these, and I got both in an extra large, and to me, they fit true to size. Now, this one's a basically another brown tobacco kind of color. It's similar to the Asian in flannel I you guys saw me grab before. Overall, I really like the construction on this one. It has like an extra black corduroy pocket on the inside of the jacket on the left side. On the right side, it just has this big JT for jack threads. And I mean, it was just a clean piece and it was something that I can layer with. You know, I have already mentioned this in my, uh, what was it, the top five um, fall and winter essentials, which were tr trucker jackets. And this one for, I think it was like 79 or 80 bucks. I thought the weight was good. I thought the quality was good. I've never had any problem with any type of jack threads clothing. So that's a corduroy tobacco brown colored trucker jacket from Jack Threads. Like I said, I got this in the XL. Fits pretty true, maybe a little big even, um, but that's good because I'm gonna be wearing this with, you know, hoodies or whatever else underneath of it. So when we toss this one aside, I actually got another one as well. It's the same exact jacket, so I'm not gonna get too deep into the details with it. It's the same jacket, but this one is sharp aligned. It almost feels and looks like, like sheep hair. It's basically a really thick cotton, almost like a really thick wool. Um, but it's extremely comfortable, it's extremely warm. People call it Sherpa, I've seen it called Pile, but I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this, especially on a lot of women's jacket, not gonna lie. They have like this really, really thick, furry cotton material on the inside. But this one is the same trucker jacket, just all black, red stitching on the inside, um, and you got that Sherpa line. So this is more of a heavy duty black trucker jacket, just to keep me warm, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's about to get cold, man. It's about to get cold out there, and y'all already know. Y'all already know. I made the essential video already. Y'all already know what I'm doing. Next pickup we have is one from Puma, and I actually tried these on. I got them in an 11 and a half because the last pair of Blaze of Glories I got was the Ronnie Feig and Kith joints. You can't really see the box, but it is back there. And this is the camp pair, Blaze of Glory camping. And these actually go really, really well 
with the next jacket I'm about to show you, but these joints are dope. They're kind of blasted up, but I'm gonna have B-roll for you guys. It has this weird black netting over top of a camo. The whole shoe is like this off-white creamish color. Um, actually, no, it was more of a tan, then you had your orange, and you had these iridescent pieces like with the puma on the top, and then this triangle in the back. There's another camping, their camping pair um, on the site, I believe, too, is more of a green. But to me, this was the doper colorway, so I grabbed this one. Like I said, I got this in an 11 and a half, but I honestly should have gone true to size because this shoe fits differently than the Ronnie Five joints. Um, especially up here, where you basically see the strap and the laces come across. That part is extremely tight, even when you loosen it up. So you want to go true to size on these if you are looking for them. I know this is kind of like a random Puma pickup for me, but I just really like the colors. And on the top of the shoe, as you guys can see, it has this netting, but the netting is over top of a camo. It looks really dope. It's a clean pair of shoes, man. Something random, something unique. But I thought I could get some good wear out of these in the fall, winter months. So, hey, why not? So the next and last up pickup from Jack Threads is one I had been waiting on for a while. I seen it pop up on the site, I think in their Drag Threads, Drag Threads, in their Jack Threads lookbook, and I was like, yo, when is that dropping? So this jacket right here is actually a collaboration between Jack Threads and Alpha Industries on their regular like aviator jack. You guys can see Alpha Industries tag, also the orange Jack Threads tag, because Jack Threads color is orange. And what they call these jackets are blood chit. I think it's chit, it's C-H-I-T, if I'm saying that wrong, let me know down below. But it was an aviator's jacket, and you guys will see on the inside how they have this basically poster so these jackets were worn by aviators if they were shot down they could bring it up like this like yo read this like I don't speak your language I need your help you know what I'm saying if you are if you return me to my people my government will reward you which is why there's this huge American flag and there's multiple languages on the back for you guys to see even says 1963 aside from the really dope meaning of that is just the color it's this really light tan color it's like kind of a dark sand and the thing I really like about it is that this jacket is actually fully reversible so if I don't want to wear it on the tan side you basically get two jackets in one but all in all it's just a dope jacket one of my favorite things I've ever gotten from Jack Threads you guys know I've come up on some gems from Jack Threads and this is definitely one of them um, so yeah man Alpha Industries and Jack Threads collab blood chit bomber definitely dope I got this one in a size large by the way um, all their jackets feel pretty big in my opinion so the large fit me fine so next up we got some brand new fam mail in my PO box you guys know the address is always down there in the description it should be there and if you want to let me know what you're sending beforehand that would be cool as well uh, my email should be down there and if it's not I'll make sure to add it so I got a brand new box in I've already opened it so first off shout out to my man Mills because I know who sent this I actually seen him post a picture of these tees and I liked them and I guess he was like yo he might actually like them so he sent them over so once again it's always must appreciate it so this right here is the C logo cap now mine did somehow get tossed in my girlfriend's laundry so she already washed it it's all black all across it's your regular type of dad cap you got your C embroidered on the front it's just a C logo cap on the side you got R2 and H and in the back you got your silver buckle your regular dad cap but I like it because well you guys know my name is Christian so the C just goes well for, with me and plus it's just a clean and dope hat I really like the R2 and H on the side too it just kind of gives it a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more uh, pizzazz, if you can tell, call it that. Now this tee right here, I believe it's called the Ghost Pocket Tee. All black, just as confidants on the front, and you can see that it has a pocket on it. And on the back it says, for those I love, I will sacrifice. Once again, confidant, having extreme trust in someone, but also caring for them as well, I think. If you have that much trust in this person, you, you, you might you, you might sacrifice for them if you love them that much. Now definitely my favorite tee, and this is actually dry clean only, I got mine in a size XL, is their repeat tee. You guys might have seen this on my Instagram. It's all over lavender, like this lavender purple. And you guys can just see, it just says confidence embroidered on the front three times going straight. It's extremely simple, but it's a really, really dope t-shirt, especially because it has like this shine from the embroidery, and it just kind of gives it that little bit of pop that it needs. Um, I just really like this color. It's a weird lavendery, basically a washed out purple color, a weird lavender color. But all in all, I just like how it looks when you pair it with the hat, it looks dope. It's just a clean colorway. So once again, shouts out to my dude Mills. Shouts out to the confidants, much appreciated. Thank you. Next up, we have another shoe pickup that I actually did an unboxing for 
I had a video done for this, which we shot when I was in the DMV, basically when I was in Alexandria with Tony for SeniorCon DMV. It was a pretty funny video and I really wanted to post it. It was like a vlog video and uh, it just disappeared. Like, I edited it all together, basically. It was all done. I saved my project file. I went back another day and tried to like recover the project file and it just would not open. So that vlog will never be seen at this point. So it was just hours of work. An hour of work or so just thrown away. Anyways, these are the new Saucony Select. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these all around. These actually sold out. These were another Select release, so I think there was around 1,000 to 1,500 usually when it's a Saucony Select. And these ones are, of course, the Pumpkin Spice Pair. I've seen a lot of people get these, and these are definitely one of the dopest Sauconies this year. Um, just like the Shrimps. The Shrimps sold out. People were really looking for those, and this is just another pair, which is the Pumpkin Spice. And just the colorway and the small details are dope as well. On the front you have this perforated like cream suede into like these orangey these dark pumpkin orangey colors on the bottom once again you have different versions of orange you have different shades of orange um, kind of like a brown dark brown colorway I believe this is in black on the side this looks like more of a, like a chocolate a deep chocolate colorway these joints drop with two lace options as well kind of like this white and dark brown rope lace and then you're all over orange and I think it's black lace tips. I think I like the orange a little bit better on these. The white and like polka dotted kind of rope lace looks dope as well but I feel like these look better. Just keep them orange. Kind of mix up with those somewhat lighter colorways because there's a lot of this white and cream color on the front and just bring out that bright orange that you guys can see on the bottom of the shoe and the side. Once again another Saucony Select shoe. They're just knocking out of the park with this one. This is the Pumpkin Spikes Grid SD. Next up we got official. The official the real deal Holyfield release of the DMV bomber jacket from Sample Industries. Now this one's gonna drop on this Saturday, which is October 29th. Hopefully this video has dropped before then because if it's not, these might already be sold out. But we finally got the changes made. The inside has been changed to the ivory off-white colorway. That's because before you can kind of see the pockets between the orange and the outside. It kind of gave it this cool iridescent look. But, you know, just to play it a little bit safe, we stuck with something that we knew would work and work out a little bit better. It wouldn't be such such a, a throw off to some people. Moving to the back, the main problem that we had while we had to get them fixed is all fixed now. You guys can see that the embroidery has been taken out. They have been all fixed. They say sample, secret service. You have that Illuminati kind of feel on the back. But it's actually supposed to be like what you see on the back of a dollar bill. Um, that's why it has all this imagery and it looks the way it does. This is all fully embroidered, by the way. Like this is not even screen print this is all fully embroidered on the back now the DMV on the side is printed DMV you got the state flags for DC Maryland and of course hometown Virginia you have this little officer's badge which actually does say sample secret service uniform division and then you have your little your little badge you know what I'm saying your little official badge on you and then you have your three flags once again represented on the right chest now these are gonna be 80 yeah these are gonna be 80 um, just because there's more embroidery and there's a lot more stuff on these ones now this one I'm wearing is a size large and you guys can see it's a little bit slim on me I need an XL this is just a size I got sent to me that I was taking pictures with so I would say if you want to get it and wear it over something because you guys can see I'm wearing a t-shirt I'm wearing a flannel and I'm wearing this and you guys know I wear from like an XL to an L so if you want to get it definitely go with the bigger size up I would say um, but to me I, I really buy XLs usually now I don't really buy a lot of size large jackets all the time I usually just get the XL because I know me and I know I'm gonna be one to like wear a hoodie or something underneath of it so I would say go ahead and get your true size if you're between sizes just go ahead and go up to the next size just in case you want to wear the hoodie or, or do what you want to do just so you're comfortable Fuck the Rose and fuck the Rory, fuck the Lambo, Tyler only Ron McLaren. Niggas think they really own because they trap and made about like 30,000. Fuck the party through the carnival attendance, this shit was like 30,000. Shabbin ball and opal fire, diamond shine and make sure my sapphire boost me. So the last thing we're gonna get into is this slick supreme pickup. This hoodie, I was watching the release, they had all the other stuff like the champion stuff drop. Um, that I, I, I did want one of the champion sweatshirts the hoodies, but I missed out on it like barely I had the aqua one in my cart and I think I like got beat by like one second by someone else But I did get this hoodie right here though. This is a metallic arc hoodie I thought this was one of the dopest hoodies 
on that drop. It was real simple, but you guys can see it just has Supreme on the front and this weird metallic, like it says, metallic arc kind of feel. It is printed on. It's not like stitched or anything like that. Um, and this one I got in navy blue. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I wish the Supreme was a little bit bigger on the front, but it's not, it's not like a deal breaker. Now the other color I was probably gonna grab was like burgundy and then olive green. Uh, I think when I got on the site to grab one of these, because I was trying to get one of the Champion hoodies, I like completely like didn't even see these. Um, the only extra large they had left in the hoodies was in this this colorway. They restocked a few times in different colorways. And I was trying to get a large and burgundy for my girl because she wanted one. Um, but I kept missing the restocks. I was like busy, I guess. And then one time I was about to grab it and then someone bought it. Like they were sitting and they may even still be sitting, I'm not sure. Anyways, those are all the pickups for this video. We got new sample, new Sockneys, new Puma, new Jack Threads pickups. Supreme, uh, fan mail, confidants. We just had a lot of stuff and I'm glad to show it to you guys and shouts out to everybody supporting the channel. So much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb. By the way, here, there, blase blot, of course, bullet RC. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Y'all be easy, I'm out, peace. I'ma bag your bitch, I'ma buy your bitch, I'ma get